discussion the other day uh, with somebody who said that there is no sign of climate change anywhere on the planet Earth. And I begged to differ with them. And so I thought I would uh, just talk about two situations that are happening right now on the planet Earth where climate change is obviously happening and it's happening in a desperate way. One is in uh, Mexico and parts of South America where they're having tremendous heat waves and tremendous droughts all over Mexico and parts of, of South America. The uh, heat is becoming so hot in South America and in Mexico that they're having regularly 111 and 114 degrees Fahrenheit. That's around 42 to 45 degrees Celsius. And that it, it's becoming desperate for trying to get water. The uh, reservoirs are all drying up and there's not much groundwater left because of severe pumping over the years of these uh, aquifers and trying to water farmland where fruits and vegetables are grown for the U.S. In fact, a lot of our fruits and vegetables, especially during the winter, come from Mexico and South America. And these farmlands require a ton of water to make melons and other uh, thirsty crops that the U.S. demands in the U.S. of Mexico City and South America. And unfortunately, they seem to have priority even over people's drinking water. You try and figure that one out. Well, money, you know, money rules the world, right? If you have enough money to buy these fruits and vegetables at high cost, and the people in the U.S. buy these things, uh, this, this food to eat, you know, how do you stop it? So another problem in uh, uh, Mexico City and Mexico, in parts of uh, the tropical parts of Mexico, is that the howler monkeys are dying by hundreds. Some say as many as 75 monkeys died just the last couple days. Some people are reporting over 485 monkeys have been found. They uh, become heat stroke and they can't handle the wet bulb temperatures which are happening down there now. And they just fall right out of the tree. And uh, what the problem is, is that the fall is so, because they perch themselves so high up in the trees, that when they do fall down, they kill themselves or get severely injured and then die slowly down on the ground. And the people in Mexico and other places are taking buckets of water out to the forest trying to make sure that these monkeys stay hydrated because there's no water coming into the forest and the monkeys are becoming dehydrated and the heat is causing heat stroke and they're falling out of the trees and dying and that's a real shame because unfortunately most monkeys on the planet are on the red list meaning they're endangered or severely endangered so all these monkeys that were that are falling out of the trees are really causing quite a uh, uh, situation on the red list for our own kind of like our own kind you know they're they're a uh, species of uh, ourselves they're sort of like just uh, where we came from and so we're not looking after the very monkeys that we came from in the past millions of years ago <laughs> There's another situation that's happening in the oceans I wanted you guys to hear about. So let's talk about that situation. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warned that it expects above normal hurricane activity in the Atlantic Ocean this year. Yeah, above normal. Let's talk about why. This is due to rising ocean temperatures, NOAA, NOAA's outlook for the 2024 hurricane season predicts an 85% chance of an above normal season. NOAA is forecasting between 17 and 25 total named storms. The agency is predicting four to seven major hurricanes with wind in excess of 111 miles an hour. The increase in activity is due to near record warm ocean temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean and, and reduced Atlantic trade winds loss of wind shear. Now wind shear kills hurricanes and when we lose that wind shear that means the hurricanes can easily ramp up and uh, spin up and come to shore in the U.S. Also South America 
and Central America. The extent of marine heat has never been greater heading into a hurricane season. Let's look at the, the water temperatures in the Atlantic and let's compare them to our last major hurricane season of 2005 when hurricanes were coming in left and right to Florida, Georgia, and other parts like North Carolina and even up into New York. Uh, these two charts compare really nicely the difference between 2005 and 2024. And as you can see, 2024 is much higher than 2005, which was the previous worst hurricane season we've ever recorded. I can't imagine what 2024 is. If you live on the East Coast and the Central Coast of the U.S., including Florida, you better get ready for a bad hurricane season, just in case one heads for you. But really, if a hurricane four or five comes into the coast, there's not much you can do about it. Your property will be completely ripped apart, just like it, uh, like it is when a tornado comes by. You can't really build against a tornado unless you use very thick reinforced concrete. But even though you may do that, the siding, the roofs, and the windows will all get blown out the uh, actual structure of concrete might stay standing, but it's very difficult to build against a hurricane of four or five and a big tornado such as an EF three, four, and five, and soon to be six. We have seen the, the worst tornado season in the U.S. history this year. It's all part of climate change that's being denied throughout the mega community. And unfortunately, uh, if we or be, if we were to be stupid enough to put in a MAGA into the U.S. presidency, the uh, climate change would all be denied all the way through for pretty much as long as the U.S. continues to exist because we know that the MAGA is not going to leave office once it is in. Okay, people, I appreciate you guys watching. Your thumbs up, your new subscribers, and definitely your comments are welcome and needed to keep this channel on YouTube. We're having difficulties with YouTube, so help by subscribing, thumbs upping the video, and writing a comment. And until next time, 